So we went to Toronto to give power to the people of Toronto during the coronavirus. So during this experience, a lot of good things happened. Yeah. It sounded very, uh, very, very warm, like, oh, uh, okay. like a hug. That's nice, 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 nice. But things took a change when it started to rain. Ah, uh, it's getting wet, man. Yeah, you're gonna get wet. And things went out of hand, and a lot of things were said. How can you deny this? No, I'm not denying it. But we were able to do what we wanted to do, and that's give it down. To watch the full video to get the perspective and understand what actually happened. One, two, three, you guys ready? All right, bro. Taha, ma anzalna alayka al-Qur'an li tashqa illa tadkiratan li man yakhsha tanzilan min man khalaq al-ard wa al-samawat al-ula الرحمن على العرش استوى له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وما بينهما وما تحت الثرى وإن تجهر بالقول فإنه يعلم السر وأخفى. What did it feel like? What did it go through your head? A little bit of sadness. Death. Death. Uh, so uh, how do you like it? It's peaceful, calming. Peaceful, yeah. calming? Yeah. What did you think? What did you feel? What do you think it was? I don't know. I think it's maybe like a, a you know, like a verse of Quran or something. Maybe he's, he's singing that in a nice way. Mm. Uh, I guess that's what it is. I'm not sure, maybe. But what does it sound like? Yeah, maybe? yeah. Um, it sounds like uh, possibly uh, some sort of a prayer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you think the guy is talking about here? Uh, I, I think it's maybe something family betrayed, but not like the family word betrayal. betrayal okay, just yeah. it did something that it wasn't supposed to, so the family's really sad about it. Yeah. So they're basically talking about how like we're upset, and disappointed with you. We should have done that, but and it was very soothing, very. Uh, very warm, mm. very embracing. Um, the, the voice was very, uh, almost kind of like wrapping you in an embrace in okay. a way. So yeah. a very friendly uh, voice. Mm. Um, again, unfortunately, yeah. the actual words, yeah. and, you know, I, I can't, I can't speak to that. So, um, but it yeah. sounded very, uh, very, very warm, like, oh, uh, okay. like a hug. That's nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Do you feel? Bro, I'm from India, so. Uh, this is pretty much what I've been brought up with around. So Very for good. me, it's none of that. Do you want to guess what is this? Do you, you want to guess like what is this? Like obviously, if you're playing R&B, you're playing uh, in a rock, you can tell. Okay, that, that's that genre. You yeah. can you take a guess? What do you think is? Uh, it's obviously, he had a nice voice. Arabic. Um, okay, Arabic. Arabic. Family disco. <laughs> okay, now you got close to the Arabic, because. If I would tell you this, this is actually uh, it's a recitation of the Quran. So I can actually play the translation for you if you want. Sure. He's telling me you want to hear the translation of this? Sure, guys. All right, I'll play the translation. Chapter 20, ta -ha. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. ta -ha. That was right. We have not sent down the Quran to you, a Muhammad, to cause you distress but only as a reminder to those who fear Allah. A revelation from Him, Allah, who has created the earth and high heavens. The most gracious Allah, who rose over the mighty throne in a manner that suits His majesty. To Him belongs all that is in the heavens, and all that is on the earth, and all that is between them, and all that is under the soil. And if you, O Muhammad, speak the invocation aloud, then indeed he knows the secret and that which is yet more hidden. Allah, none has the right to be worshipped but he. To him belong the best names. So how did you feel about that, the translation? Um, I would have guessed that that was kind of the... Yeah. I didn't know it was God speaking to Allah, but that, yeah, that certainly... Yeah, yeah. Uh, to Muhammad, pardon me, yeah, but yeah, uh, um, uh, that was the general feeling that I got of it, even in Arabic. Oh, okay. um, so, uh, so 
of my feelings are pretty much the same. It was okay. uh, uh, very fatherly. I mean, it was, it okay. was advice. It yeah. was kind of rules to live by. Um, but there was uh, there was a warm, embracing quality mm. to it. Very, uh, um, very welcoming. Very mm. uh, loving. Um, but as a father would to a son. Yeah. Okay. All right, sir. Thank you so much for your time. You know, if you look at obviously Christianity, you know, Judaism, Islam, we have the same similar notion, right? Like, a lot of the times people get it conflated. But like, even I, like I'm, you know, we're Muslims, but we believe in Jesus. But it's just we don't believe that the fact that he spoke in the cradle, and that he was born from a miraculous birth, that solely made him God. Because if that's the case, because people say obviously Jesus is God because obviously he doesn't have, you know, a father, right? But the thing is, the same argument can be made for Adam. Because Adam didn't have a mother or father. You know what I'm saying? But we say, it's like, yeah, we understand where you're coming from. But like, that did not happen through his own permission. He did that all with the permission of God. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, it's good to give you a reaction. I believe in doing good. You get good. The universe, basically. Religious-wise, not a big believer of any religion. So, let me ask you this. So, who do you think created the heavens and the earth and the sun, cloud, uh, these trees? I think... Uh, a big, big, massive fusion of energy. Be a pawn, you, you. Start in the name of the most high. King of all kings, the master of the universe.